So, over the past few weeks, I haven't really found many Hot Wheels or toys and junk in stores. Um, mainly because I've been buying the Hot Wheels by the cases online. But, um, I did get some stuff. Um, some of this might be from like two weeks ago or so. So, um, start off, I have these DC cars. I got the Flash, um, Hawkman, um, Catwoman, it's kind of open, uh, Batman Hot Rod, and a Joker car. Now these I didn't pay whatever they normally go for around $3.99 I think. I paid a lot less. Um, the Target by me for some reason always has these real cheap. They're $1.18. Now um, I brought these to the register and then the employee there I guess peel off the labels and then because they had like little sticker labels on them and they were scanning up weird prices. One was like the regular price then one was like 20 bucks. Um, but they did eventually give it to me for the price on the shelf. They actually have a tag on the shelf, so, and, it, I, you know, when it scans it, it says DC Cars. So I, I don't know what the hell's been going on. It's been like that for months, um, with that, and I bought most of the ones, like, I, I bought the Batman versus Superman cars. They had the Wonder Woman one and the Batman and Superman one. But, um, yeah, so we'll go on to the next stuff. I accidentally messed up on, uh, making this video. Um, so some of this stuff got unpackaged. I got this little figure thingy, whatever you call it, from Walmart for a dollar. It's like a keychain because it has this. Don't really know what it does. Um, or what it's really for. It's some kind of video game. Or phone game or whatever. Let's see here. I don't know what it does. Let's see here. I don't know if you can take the figures out. It has a little sliding drawer thing. I don't know what the hell that's there for. If you can tell me what this is actually for, I'd appreciate it. It also came with this little pog-like thing. Um, the next thing I also unboxed, <coughs> unpackaged, were whatever these are called, uh, Banka Zonks. Um, they really just remind me of these toys, um called Mighty Beans, which were kind of cool, collectible, like, bean-shaped toys. You can look at these. They're pretty much the same thing. They just uh, updated them for a modern era. I got these for 50 cents. I got four of them. Um, looks like they went for 350 And it has superheroes on it. Um, I have two there. Spider-Man. One was the mystery one. Um, this one right here was the mystery one. They stand up or they can, you know, rest on the head. Um, it shows, like, in this picture, like, somehow you can flick them onto a book. Um, like it's an opposite slinky or something. I don't know how to do that. Um, if you can leave it in the comments. Otherwise, I'm not sure if anybody really knows anything about this toy. Um, move on to the next thing that I accidentally opened. Well, I opened it on camera, but then the video got messed up. I got this action figure from Walmart for a dollar. It's Green Lantern. It's from the movie um, Abin Sir. Here's the packaging from that. Comes with a little toy power ring, which I won't be able to fit at all. It doesn't even fit my pinky. It's pretty much garbage to me. But the figure is okay. Um, nothing special. It's like, I guess you could say it's like a cheap dollar figure. Um, it's made by Mattel. Yeah. So this is like his, this little green thing, I guess, comes from his little power ring. Which is like this, but on his hand, but smaller. And I don't know if you see it. Yeah, you see his power ring right there. So I assume this goes on that hand. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to be on this hand. Now this movie, I think, wasn't really that successful. Um, that could be why this was sitting there. It's probably been there for years, because I think it, on the box... It says 2013 on it. No, 2010, so it's even older. Um, let's see. The next thing I got um, from this Walmart store, I got this little pop vinyl for a buck. These are like four bucks normally. It's actually a keychain, but I probably will just keep it as a regular figure. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I got this in the mail again. I'm going to use it for trades. 
It's the 58 Chevy delivery. I did a video on that um, a while ago. Next, I got this blind bag. There were two of these, but one was open, so I didn't want to uh, uh, buy it. But the, it, it was 10 cents. It was a real good deal. These are like a couple bucks. Wish they had an ass load of those. I would have bought every single one just for the hell of it. Sometimes I can like trade or sell them. You know, I don't normally sell them as high as they are in the store. No one will never, no one will ever buy them at that price usually. But I guess some people do. Um, we'll open it. Boom! It's all connected, which makes it a lot easier. Then maybe I should have bought that other one if they're all connected. Oh well. Um, actually, this Walmart's a little farther out, and I probably will only hit it once in a while. Um, it's actually close to where I work. But it's in the wrong direction, so it's not... I really have to drive farther out. Let's see, this figure is... What's his name? It's Tim. And he has this little fart gun. I've actually seen the fart gun in the store. Um, whenever I see it lying around, I play with it. Pretty cool. Um, I do like to collect these little minifigures. Um, for t 10 cents, that's the best price ever. Um, on to the next stuff. Um, uh, I'll do this one first. It's a Matchbox, uh, Sub Seeker. Thought it was pretty cool. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Grand Theft Auto subs. Okay, next things. Uh, these are going to get their own video. Um, I found the 50 Camar Camaro set. Um, this was the only Walmart I've been to that actually had them. My other go-to Walmart never got them, or haven't got them yet, but they could be getting them in the near future. And I went to that one, my go-to one, and they had junk. I think around this time of year, I end up not getting a whole lot of stuff. And uh, that's it for that stuff from Walmart. I did go to Toys R Us today. Um, I got this little Matchbox one. Um, I think you can get this at any store, but it's the only, I am, you know, I think there is another store that sells them these way, this way. You can get these little matchboxes in a little matchbox. Um, I guess that's what they called them because they were about the size of a matchbox, you know, matches and stuff. Pretty cool. You get that little box to store them in. Um, a lot of old people say that they, when they had these as a kid, they would always keep the box and just store their little vehicle in it. Anyways, we'll look at the little vehicle. Um, what is it called? It's called Crop Master. Um, it's a nice tractor. Mostly metal with this plastic, like, pipes and seat and motor and stuff. Pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll just put it back in the box. And I think I got one more thing, which I got from Toys R Us. This Elvis Hollywood uh, green light vehicle, um, what is it called? Hitch and Toe. You get like four, or no, not four, three different items. Um, you get this out of place 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500, 1500. Um, and you get the pink Cadillac. Um, I, I think he's known for having a pink Cadillac Elvis's. Um, it appears to, on the Cadillac that the hood might open. You can see right here. Um, I don't normally buy like green light stuff that often, um, unless there's something special. Um, I've only ever bought like two green lights. This is my second one. But the main reason I got it was because it was Elvis. Um, kind of wanted the pink Cadillac. Looks pretty cool. Um, I may open it. Um, Paint looks a little off in some spots, so um, if I don't open it, I could always see if I can track one down. But it's pretty nice nonetheless. Um, you get this. Like, these two items are out of place because they're not even for the time period he was around. Um, you get this little item, which um, I have with another one, and I don't know if you can really do anything with it. I think you just put it there, and then I guess it's meant for displaying. But, um, I mainly just, the last one, I just threw it inside the little hauler. Um, let's see, I don't think there's anything else about this that I can think of. Here's the back. And, uh, that's it. Um, later this week I might do the 50s Camaro set. 
And I may also have a case unboxing, which I ordered the case, and then uh, PayPal sent me an email and said that the package is on its way. I actually ordered it last week, so I don't know why it's taken so long. But anyways, you can like, share, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.